Hi, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I am here to do a reading for Libra. This is for Libra, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, and this is for the next seven days. So seven days from the day that you watch it, okay? Um, or you could say October 30th through November 5th, okay? Or seven days from the date that you watch it. Now keep in mind that this reading may not be for you, okay? So it may not be. Take what resonates and leave the rest. Oh, we got three cards that fell out. December. December is prominent. So you could be dealing with a Sagittarius or a Capricorn. Or you may, something that happened in a previous December may be coming to fruition now. You're going to be dealing with it this month. Or you're going to have a very, very big change this Dece December. Bear. Danger, especially in money matters. So yeah, there's danger here. Goldfish, interesting, because this is a contradiction, or not really. Increase in material wealth or spiritual growth. So there could be an increase of material wealth or spiritual growth, but there's danger. So you're going to probably have to listen you're probably going to have to listen to your gut because of the spiritual growth part to keep your money. It's interesting, very interesting, because before I started this, just like within maybe 45 seconds before I started this, I was thinking about one of my friends. Okay, she's not a Libra. And uh, I saw one of her posts, and I don't know why this came up. And I saw one of her posts on Facebook and it said something about paying other people's bills for Christmas. And I thought to myself, just now, and I saw the post yesterday, but it came up now. And I said to myself, just now, uh, you better save your money. How ridiculous is that when you can't even pay your own bills nine months out of the year? You know, that's what I'm thinking to myself from my previous observations. And I even said it out loud while I was sitting here, save your money. And then I turned on the camera. So weird, weird, save your money, save your money. Change in living situation just flipped over, flipped over. Change in living situation. Maybe dealing with the Pisces. What else do we have for... <laughs> what a mess. I think this is messy. I think it's a messy situation that you're going to be dealing with. I do. December is prominent. It's interesting because Christmas is in December time or December, whatever. Christmas time is in December. So I'm wondering if something's going to happen around Christmas time. Oh, that just baffled me. It baffled me. And I mentioned Christmas just now. And you know, there's no such thing as coincidence. Everything that comes out of my mouth is part of this reading. Every story that I tell. I also, right before that story, I was thinking about bitching. People always, all they want to do is bitch, bitch, bitch. And I was, right before I had the camera ready to record, I wasn't doing anything. I wasn't looking at my phone. I was just thinking. And I was like, people always want to tell you what to do. It's like, I just, it's like, why, why, why can't people just stop their bitching and mind their own business and, and, uh, let you be who you want to be? You know, why can't you be, why, why do they got to put their two cents in? Why is it better their way? It's better their way? No. Uh-uh. God put me on this earth to be myself. Thank you very much. God put me on the this earth to do it my way, not your way. You know, so that was another thing that was coming across, you know, right before I turned the camera on. And you were up next no matter what because I had to finish the air signs. 
So that was right before. It's like, just stop telling people that your way is better. And I'm not saying that you're doing that. I don't know if you are, if people are trying to tell you, you could be the one where you're dealing with somebody who's like, oh, I, this is a fucking know-it-all. Okay, we got a know-it-all here. Who's, who's, do it this way, do it this way. I think you should do it this way. Bend over. <sighs> who's to say that their way or your way is better? Whatever way that you feel is best for you, is best for you. And if you want to go ahead and give your money away foolishly to look good to the public, or even if you just say it and you can't really do it to make it look good to the public, you know, hey, whatever, that's fake, okay? I don't know. I don't know if it's you or if it's the other person. It's not a, that, I'm not going to tell you what her sign is. But um, she's not a Libra. Um, boggle my mind. Boggle my mind. It's all fake. It's all fake. You know, don't, don't, don't. You listen to your gut, okay? You listen to your gut. Anyhow, what do we have for Libra? Five of Cups reversed. Page of Cups reversed. Right now, right now, presently, the situation, you know, like where you're at right now, beginning to realize that there's another option, probably been focusing on the past, focusing on some pain for quite some time, maybe an unrequited love situation, we may have some shattered dreams here. I mean, right now, five of cups reversed next to the page of cups reversed, that could be shattered dreams, tears, sadness, you know, wallowing, prolonged grief, grieving, grieving, grieving over something. Right now, maybe, maybe I don't know if there's been some sort of separation or a breakup and there's been some sort of prolonged grief or there is grieving that is going on right now. Below you is the Knight of Pentacles reversed. So I'm not sure if you're dealing with somebody that didn't follow through or they were unfaithful or they were irresponsible. Could be dealing with a Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio or a Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. In the past, we have toxic behavior, codependency, obsession, infatuation, tied to a situation. You've been tied to a situation, maybe even obsessed or infatuated. Um, very unhealthy. Could be drugs, could be addiction, a codependent a partnership, whatever it is. Ah, above you, five of swords. Right now, presently, okay, this is severing ties. Interesting, because you do need to sever ties. You need to protect yourself. You need to defend yourself. I feel like you're up against, maybe you got some haters. Interesting that I had to tell that other story as well. You may be dealing with some opposition in the very near few. Maybe you're dealing with it right now, because that's really in the present. I feel like you're, you may even be under attack or needing to push people away that don't support you. Definitely dealing with some power struggles, maybe feeling defeated, you know. Maybe you're up against somebody that has no moral conscience. You know, that's what that five of swords is. That's somebody that does not care who they hurt, that, you know, uh, has done this before and they're going to do it again. I think this is mirror, the five of swords is mirroring the knight of pentacles reverse. So I'm, I'm wondering if you're dealt, dealing with somebody that is very unstable, very unreliable. You know, they don't follow through with any task. You know, they don't stick around. They, like I said, they've done this before. In your near future is the judgment card, making a judgment card, a call. This is a card of acceptance. It's a card of truth. It is a card of consequences in being judged. It's also a card of karma. So there's going to be, or there could even be some upcoming court, you know, somebody may be getting, because judgment is court, okay, it is a court, whether it's the universal law or real, real court, this is um, battle, I was going to say court battle, so it's, or it's a, some sort of battle, so I'm not sure if you're going to be engaging in some sort of court battle with somebody or there has been a court battle or there's going to be or it's just a battle of another battle if it's a battle of truth a battle of accepting the truth you know some of you maybe may, may have 
had your heart set on somebody that is literally emotionally unavailable with the page of cups in reversed really focus or they're not even they're not available anymore for maybe they've already left maybe it feels like they've already walked away and i think that and, and I, I i really or they've cheated or something there's some sort of betrayal here there's some sort of uh no follow through or unreliable irresponsible uh, behavior no loyalty or something like that or something has come to a complete halt i feel like you're you're feeling defeated you're feeling betrayed you know you may be even feeling really 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 alone um anyhow i think that right now you need to accept because judgment is a card of acceptance it's it is so i feel like uh something about making a decision ten of swords Ace of Pentacles reversed, Three of Cups reversed, and the Nine of Wands reversed as the overall outcome. So avoiding challenge, great personal fear is your, it's like right now you're in a place where you've reached a point where it's like, I got to give up. I know I got to give up, but admitting the defeat that, that something has ended, you know, is the worst part. It is the worst part. I feel like something has ended. I feel like you are being challenged to walk away. You are being challenged to sever ties. I think you're dealing with somebody, you know, and you and you may have known it, but you because I see awareness here. But I feel like, you know, this is parting ways from a third party. I feel like you've been involved in a third party situation or you, this is a like parting ways from friends or family or a relationship. Maybe there, there could definitely be a third party situation. I feel like you're feeling, you know, maybe feeling really unhappy, like there's no joy in your life. There's nothing to celebrate really, really down because you've had some sort of significant loss in your outside influence. We have the Ace of Pentacles reverse. So this is a lost opportunity, right? Something has slipped away or it's gone away. It's no longer tangible, right? You can't have it anymore. It's gone. Something, it's gone. Uh, your, your advice is to accept it. This is the end. Okay. This is your advice card. This is suffering. It is pain. This is the end of a situation. I feel like it's over. I feel like it's time for you to accept something is over. I feel like you're really hurting. You're in a lot of pain because I think that, you know, I think that you know that something is over. I think that you know that whoever you're dealing with is unstable. They're they're They don't have anything solid or real to give you. And I feel like you're seeing the truth. I do feel like you know the truth. I feel like you know the truth. I feel like you see the truth. But it's hard to accept the truth. Um, giving up. Giving up. The Nine of Wands reversed is the overall outcome. Giving up on the third party. Giving up on the... I don't know if it's the friends or the family or whatever this is. The situation. Letting it go. Letting it go. It hurts. It hurts. It hurts. It hurts. It hurts. I feel like somebody has parted ways. Maybe they parted ways from you or you parted ways from them. And it hurts really, 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 really bad. And I think that's where you're at. I think you're suffering. You're feeling it. You're feeling it. You're feeling it. Um, nine of Wands reverse. Great personal fear. Um angry angry you may be angry maybe angry at all the challenges that life has thrown at you um you know there's this is over it's not, the party is over with the three of cups the celebrate there's nothing to celebrate right now i feel like you've had a significant loss i think that you have and it's it's really hard to forgive and accept and start over let's get another card on this judgment What is the judgment card? Seven of Pentacles. This may mean relocation. Okay. This is a this is season is over. This is short lived success. I feel like you've tried really, really, really hard. You've worked hard to make something grow. You've put in all the effort you can. There's nothing left. There's no reason to stay here. The ground is no longer fertile. It's time for you to go someplace else. I feel like you've got all that you can get. Um, and I think that you're going to be realizing that this week, realizing that it's time to, uh, maybe it's time to start investing in something new because that's a new investment. It's time to invest in new territory. It's time to invest in this new place. It's time to invest. It's time to, maybe it has to, this has to do with friends. Maybe you were, you've parted ways with friends or family. Maybe it's time to <clears throat> 
meet new people or make new friends you know but i think that there's there's anger here over and i think you've been avoiding it you've been avoiding making friends or you've been avoiding opening up or you've been avoiding um i don't know the truth i feel like you've been i feel like you've got some enemies disguised as friends i do with the three of cups reverse There's gossip. You may have people talking about you. You know, maybe it's old friends or something. It's interesting that I, I started this with talking about one of my friends. Very interesting because I, this is like gossip. There's gossip. There could be people that are talking behind your back. Three of Cups reverse is gossip. It's like, and I feel like you've got some haters here. Maybe even fake friends, and you, you need to let them go. I feel like you need to, or, or fake supporters, you know, people that don't, their enemies disguised as friends. And I feel like you're in a place where you need to turn and walk away. Maybe you need a change in a living situation. You need new territory. I mean, the Seven of Pentacles is definitely new territory. It is. And the Five of Swords is to walk away, admit your defeat, and walk away from the battle zone. It's just like, you know what? I just want to be happy. I don't want to fight anymore. You win. You win. I feel like you're going to be making a judgment call whether you want to move or whether you want them to move or if this is another person. I think this is a decision this week or it's a decision whether you want to invest, whether you want to invest in this new territory, this new life, because judgment is a new life. There's a chance for a new life here. There is. Um... Some of you have been dealing with a Capricorn or a Scorpio or Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Could they also be dealing? I think that you need to make a decision. You, because that Five of Swords, I, I feel like you, you need to do what's best for you at this point. It's interesting that I, I brought that whole story up as well because it's like, and I stuck up my middle finger. Fuck you. I'm going to do what's right for me. That's this right here. It really is. You got to do what's right for you. Okay, you gotta do what's right for you, period, period. Okay, if it means that you have to leave somebody behind, well, that's the way it goes. Because if I'm not you, you're not me, they aren't you, you know what I mean? So this week, you're gonna be making, the judgment is a life-changing decision, and this is about relocation, about where you wanna live, what kind of life you wanna live. I feel like you're becoming, you're going through some sort of awakening or you're coming, going through some sort of realization or you're starting to see things uh, differently. You've been suffering. You have, you have. It's like you've reached a breaking point with the Ten of Swords. That is a breaking point. Seven of Swords next to the Judgment. So Seven of Swords is probably making an escape. I feel like you're feel, you're definitely feeling deceived. This is like taking your stuff and going somewhere. You know, I think that that's what's happened. Some of you have moved or you're going to be moving. I think there's definitely been lies. There's been deception. You may be taking a new approach this week. I think that's what you're doing. I think you're, you're gaining some... It's like the Seven of Swords is somebody that is very logical, very intelligent, that, that plans things. So I feel like you've been... Um, contemplating you've been contemplating you know what your next move is and I think you're still going to continue to do that this week I think you're going to be parting ways from people friends family whoever it is people that don't support you anymore I think you've been avoiding new territory you've been avoiding opening up because you don't trust and I think you don't trust because of you've been so betrayed you've been so this hurts so much. It, whatever it was, it hurts so much. It hurts so much to leave it behind. Ten of Cups reversed. Ten of Cups reversed is a dying dream, right? It, it is. It's, it's family issues, um, a broken relationship, or the end of a relationship. It could be about leaving home or leaving children behind, you know? Um... That could be one of the challenges. Leaving the home that, you know, you've had children in. You know, something about that. 
It could be even the hometown. This is an unhappy relationship. I don't know if you're dealing with a Pisces. Um, justice, upright. So this is making a decision. I feel like, and there definitely could be some legal matters that are popping up with justice and judgment. We also have some karma here and it is, it's karma. Okay, but, but judgment, okay, judgment is the end of a trial. Okay, it's the end. Okay, judgment day is the end. Okay, it's the end. It's over, okay? It's time. Are you ready to be judged? Are you ready to make a judgment call? Are you ready for your new life? It's decision time. So courts could be involved. I don't know if somebody has been uh, hurt or abused. I don't know. We may, we may have some abuse here. We may even have some child abuse, you know, because the five of swords is abuse and four of cups or the page of cups is a child. Okay, and the Page of Cups is reversed. There could be some something that is revealed with the Judgment card. Judgment is some truth being revealed. It may have something to do with a child. It may also have something to do with cheating because I have cheating a couple times. Lies, deception, uh, big lies, big, big lies. We have somebody here that has an extremely big ego that has hurt somebody before and they've gotten away with it, okay? I don't think they're going to get away with it anymore. They're not going to get away with it. This is it. I feel like this is the breaking point. This is the straw that breaks the camel's back. It really is. Okay, this is it. This is it. This is it. This is the straw that breaks the camel's back. This is a horrendous loss. It's a huge loss. It is. I'm sorry to tell you. Okay. Um, justice. Fair and just decision is being made. Balance is being restored acting with integrity. You also need to be honest with yourself during this time. There is some sort of truth that is coming out. It's probably, it may bring some tears to your eyes. You know, that page of cups is tears. It's sadness. It's, it's unrequited love situation. We may have somebody here that is giving up. They're giving up on a relationship. Okay. And I, I'm just going to be honest, or they had given up. Maybe they cheated. I don't know if they did. There's cheating like three times, just so you know. Um, this is like giving up on a relationship. So either you're giving up or they're giving up or they already get, did give up. There's a Pisces involved here because uh, the Pisces is right next to it. Okay, it goes like this. It may have happened during Pisces season. I don't know. There's definitely a Pisces involved. There's going to be a change in, in living situation. In the, it could be in December, but it could be, could be right, something could happen around Christmas time. Um, there's gossip, there's bitching, there's people ganging up. There's, there's a bunch of women here that are causing problems, you know. Um, justice. A fair and just decision is being made. We have somebody here that has not followed through. They, are, they didn't, they were lazy. They may even have some food issues Knight of Pentacles reverse. This may be somebody that has some eating problems or uh, commitment problems, or they're just very unhealthy, lazy. This could be a slob. This could be a uh, uh, somebody that mooches, you know, a moocher that doesn't have any money, you know, that is mooching off of somebody for their money. There's gonna be something that is revealed that uh, has to do with deception, okay? Some sort of deception, lies, cheating, whatever it is, is gonna be revealed that puts somebody in a place of what do I do now with the Seven of Pentacles? With seven, it's like, do I, what do I do now? Is it time, should I leave? Should I leave? Six of Wands reversed. Now the Six of Wands reversed is no victory. It's no success, okay? This is a disgrace. There could be something that's happened publicly that is extremely embarrassing. It could be a public disgrace. Um, there's some unwelcome news here. We have somebody here that is all show. They don't follow through. They shouldn't be in the position that they're in. This person thrives on competition. They love to play games. Could be dealing with a fire sign. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. This person um, likes to be in the spotlight, but they don't have the... Uh, knowledge or the skills to be in that spotlight, but they are in it because they it's like negative. Okay, they 
They may be overly confident, extremely egotistical. They put themselves in a position to get attention, and they're probably going to get some attention that gets them in trouble. And that's the way I see it. Um, very cocky, smug, uh, prideful individual here. That's what we have. This is a know-it-all. This, some of you, I, this could definitely be a fire sign. This person does not follow through. They don't follow through. Uh, it feels like there's somebody that is uh, breaking free with the Three of Cups reverse. They're parting ways. They're parting ways. This is somebody that is a very a schemer. We have a schemer here. Be careful. Be really dangerous. But somebody may be after your money or, or somebody, I don't know, or after, I don't know, maybe it's your mother's money or your father's money. or There's somebody here that is after money. This person isn't very skilled. They're not very skilled. They need money. And I see that with the Seven of Pentacles. And then the Seven of Swords, this is somebody who wants something for free. It's like they don't want to work for it. They see an opportunity to invest in something. They're scheming. They're scheming. So be very, very, this is somebody that has no moral conscience that is, uh, this person is toxic. They are very unhealthy. They're, they're very materialistic. They're after somebody's money. You need to be very, very, very careful. I feel like this week something is going to happen that uh, has to do with your living situation. I mean, or it has to do with your family, okay? Or it has to do with your relationship with your family, Um you got to be careful. I think there is somebody here that has no moral conscience that is up to no good. Put it that way. I feel like this person is not your friend or they're not your person's friend. Or, you know, this is not a friend. This is an enemy disguised as a friend. I don't know if this person has gotten thrown out, you know, or something like that. And they come and ask you for help. Be very, very, very careful. Good luck.